Eve, welcome back to today's video. Today's work is all about solving riddles based on what you have learnt about decimals. So hopefully today's video will really help you consolidate that knowledge about decimals and different decimal places and what their place value means and then you'll be able to use your knowledge to then complete today's activity. So without further ado, let's get into today's lesson. Today's presentation is called Delightful Decimals. So we're going to be going through everything that you've learnt over the last week or so about decimals, just to remind you. And then in your work, you're going to be using everything you've learned and your existing decimal knowledge to solve some riddles on decimals and work out what those numbers are. So hopefully by the end of this, you'll be able to confidently read and write numbers with up to three decimal places and understand their place value. So we're going to start off by playing a little game and it's, it's like snap. So I'm going to deal a new card and you're going to have to shout snap when all the card when the cards are equivalent. So the first equivalent fraction you're looking for is 0.4. So is it eight tenths, three tenths, seven tenths, nine tenths, one tenth, four tenths? Hopefully some of you shouted snap there because 0 0.4 is equivalent to four tenths. The next one is 0 0.73. Is it equivalent to 75 hundredths, 79 hundredths, 71 hundredths, 74 hundredths, 76 hundredths, 73 hundredths? Well done if you said snap, 0 0.73 is the equivalent to 73 hundredths. 0 0.209 is it 207 over a thousand 208 over a thousand 204 over a thousand 205 over a thousand 201 over a thousand 209 over a thousand well done if you said snap because 0 0.209 is the equivalent to 209 over 1,000 or 209 thousandths. Decimal place value. Any digit immediately to the right of the decimal point is a tenth. So 1 equals 10 tenths. So multiply 1 tenth by 10 and you get 1. Divide 1 by 10 and you get 1 tenth. Any digit immediately to the right of the tenth column is a hundredth. So 1 equals 10 tenths and 100 hundredths. So multiply 1 hundredth by 100 and you get 1. Divide 1 by 100 and you get 1 hundredth. Any digit immediately to the right of the hundredth column is a thousandth. One whole is the equivalent to 10 tenths, 100 hundredths and 1000 thousandths. Multiply 1 thousandth by a thousand and you get 1. Divide 1 by 1,000 and you get 1 thousandth. Each place value column gets 10 times smaller. So we're dividing, that by, dividing 1 by 10, then we divide tenth, 1 tenth by 10 to get 1 hundredth, then we divide 1 hundredth by 10 to get 1 thousandth. Practice saying these decimal numbers out loud using the correct decimal place vocabulary. So I'm going to show the number on the screen. I'll give you a moment to say the number and then I'll say it just to check that you got it correct. So this is the first one. And well done if you said 0 0.64. It's not 0 0.64. There is a reason for that and I'll explain it a little bit more when we get to a number with three decimal places. This is the next one. 
So this is 0 0.372. The reason we don't say 0 0.372 is because the 3 isn't in the hundreds column, it's in the tenths column. 7 isn't in the tens column, it's in the hundredths column. And 2 isn't in the ones column, it's in the thousandths column. So that is why we say each individual digit after a decimal point. So 0 0.372. Next one, that is 0 0.9, and the next one, well done if you said 0 0.108, and this one is 0 0.09. Now practice writing these decimal numbers in words using the correct decimal place value vocabulary. So again, I'll give you a moment to write, write it down. In fact, you might want to pause the video actually to write it down, write your decimal number down, and then I will show on the screen what you should have written. So this is the first one. So well done if you wrote 0 0.04. This is the next one. Well done if you wrote 0 0.07. Next one. Well done if you wrote down 0 0.005. Next one. And well done if you wrote 0 0.99, remember it's not 99. Next one. And well done if you wrote down 0 0.108. Next one. Well done if you wrote 0 0.078. So this is a game called Guess My Number. So you need to play this with a friend or a family member. And player one writes a secret four digit number with three decimal places on a whiteboard or in a notebook. Player two will ask yes or no questions using place value vocabulary to try and work out the secret number. So it's a little bit similar to what you're doing in today's work in you're trying to use the language to work out what the number is. This is actually the end of today's presentation. So you can play that game as you wish with your family members or friends. So that's it for this week of fractions and decimals. Tomorrow I'll be going through the answers to your arithmetic. Answers for today's work, as always, will be in the description box below, along with the link to find the work and mine and the school's Twitter accounts. And if you have any questions or even just want to say hello or have a chat, then don't hesitate to get in touch with us on the Year 5 email address. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.